Hey everybody, we're back up here in the boundary, well, we're near the boundary waters. We put in at Burnside Lake. Now the Dead River is really low because the water, I, I guess it's been a hot summer, so the water's really low, I'd say about a, a foot, 30 centimeters. The channel was probably about six feet, two meters, trying to get through this muck and the lily pads and stuff. Yeah. And the river was about oh, a mile and a half, which is probably about five kilometers. Say cheese. And we seen this little inlet that went into this lake you could see off in the distance and we came up here and set up camp. When do you want me to turn this off? Once we land? We got a really good campsite too. Uh, somebody took the first one, but the second one ended up being better. I mean, we it's flat. We got all this good, uh, I don't know, this good brush. I hope there's no poison ivy. <laughs> but uh, there's a latrine back there too, so. And we're uh, looking for a little tree and we didn't know where it was because it's kind of a clear cut here. I don't know why they clear cut it if there was a storm that came through here. Zach thinks there might be, they're setting this up for blueberries. Blueberry patches everywhere. Yeah, blueberries are everywhere. We've seen a lot of bear mm -hmm. sign, hair all over yeah. the place. Tons the bear. of bear hair. And so, the good thing with the clear cut, super easy to get the firewood. Just firewood everywhere from all this cutting and they're already piling it up. But I didn't know how hard it was. Every time the Marine here is cutting wood, it makes it look easy. Whoa, what a catch. Make him proud. Make her proud. How about Kelly? Cameron? Come on, Tom. Here. Take that's going to be hard uh, the older we get, man. I don't know about how much work we're going to be able to do here. We're probably going to have to come out with our own wood already pre-cut. What? Yeah. And when we're sawing, we're like tired after three logs. we got to switch off. So Zach can do his thing. Seen this on TV, so you know what we're doing. It's in here. Wait, we got a little picnic table someone made. I don't know how sturdy it is. Well, it's an oldie. Only but goody. That's it? Let's do it. So what's the plan? Can I put trash in the uh, fire pit? No. No. We'll have a little trash bag. Tom is from California, <laughs> where they just 
Burn trash. Burn. They love that in California. No wonder they have so many fires. You should be moving to Canada. Oh, they're on fire right now. Cheese uh, is crumbling. Cheese? What do you got, Tom? Ham. I got Munster cheese, two hams, sourdough bread. Did we bring any mayonnaise or anything? No, I grabbed some, oh, okay. you know, from the quick trip, but oh. I left it in the car. In that bag. We don't need it because look at this guy. He wants a sandwich too. He's cleaning tinfoil and throw him in the fire. Sounds good. But we got no tinfoil. Sounds bad. <laughs> so we got the hammock set up. We got three hammocks, mm -hmm. uh, uh, each of us. Nice hang. Here we go. All right, I got my steak. I'm gonna put it, luckily I got a root right here. I'm gonna put it behind the root at a 45 degree angle. Use my muscles because I don't have a hammer. Hold on a second. Go like this. Take your foot. Let's just step on it. Push okay. It, okay. Push it right down. All right. If you don't have a hammer, then you got to use your foot. Push it down. Yeah. You know, get that down in there. Yep. And then 45 degree angle. Let's see if you can do it. Un Put on the hook over the antenna behind the wing. No, pull it tight. Get it tight. Pull it. No, pull on it before you tighten it. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Is that too tight? Nope. Look at that. I don't know, but that's it. So when the rain comes. Which is now, and it's not supposed to rain, but it is. Yeah. I'm going to be looking. 
looking good. I won't see the northern lights, but I won't be wet. Good job, okay. What's the root cause? I just saw the root. Step on it. Nice. All right, I'll take the fly, take my string, pull it taunt, wrap it in the ear. The hook. The hook. Pull it, pull in the cordage. No, do it. yep. Pull it. Grab the fly, Grab underneath it. it, go around the antenna, over the wing. Look at that, you're an expert. Uh, let me try one more. All right, hey, uh, I just got done setting up my Superior hammock from Superior Gear. And uh, it is a 30 degree uh, Fahrenheit and one degree Celsius. Keeps me nice and warm. Negative one Celsius. Keeps me nice and warm. I what, what tarp do you have? Oh, I got a what, tarp. The tarp, what, what is, the tarp? is uh, it's from the Congo. It is. Um, it's a war bonnet. The war bonnet. What's it keeps the name of it? War bonnet tarp. It's green. Huh? Superfly. Sorry, right, excuse me. <laughs> um, but anyways, war bonnet uh, tarp, and it's uh, you know it's gonna do the job tonight. It's gonna do the job. Right. Hey. Yeah. Simplify. Do or die. Do or, uh, All right. You know, I'm, something. I'm filming. Now the hammock I'm using is from Dream Hammock, it's a Sparrow, and I got a 20 degree Phoenix from Hammock Gear, which is right around negative 3, I'd say negative 4 Celsius. And Henry's got his little, little pup tent, it's from Dutchware Gear, and he loves this little pup tent. So now I'm going to get my tarp, and the tarp I have is from Superior Gear, that works really well with this pup tent. Henry just can't wait to get in there. Back, boy, back. We yeah. got a natural alarm clock at about what five this morning. Two crows came right above us and just yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> making more, louder noises than that. And this is Tom's first time <laughs> sleeping in a hammock. How was it sleeping in a hammock? I, you know, everything was great. I had a really, really good time. Slept great, but I, I did forgot my pillow. My pillow was outside, so definitely put the pillow inside before you zip up. Because uh, once it gets dark, you know, it's just kind of hard to get your stuff together then. But yeah, I loved it. Had to get up a couple times at night though, you know. Um, and it was, stars were everywhere. That oh, was a really beautiful. cool thing. Yeah, beautiful. no northern lights, but the stars we were out like We missed it by crazy. a day. Yesterday, the northern lights were out, but we thought we'd get them today. We missed it. And then I got a little pup tent for Henry to sleep. So he sleeps at the end of my hammock. And he slept really well. He, he was waiting to get in there. And when I got up to go to the bathroom, see? Didn't want to come out. He loves his little pup tent. So I'll do a little tutorial on that. But then after that, we got a fire going last night. Those are all the same. Huh? Up in the boat. That's my first campfire in two years. We had some New York strips and some twice baked potatoes on the fire. What's that? What do you think, Tom? Well, let me tell you, those are some hot coals, and uh, those potatoes are going to be mighty tasty tonight because it's just what we need after I caught my fish. So the other guys will be catching theirs tomorrow, so they'll be following me, but you know how it goes. You're the kingfisher. I'm the kingfisher right now today. Let's we'll see what happens tomorrow. Got a little visitor behind you. For the sticks, what do you use to pick them up? Usually these metal chopsticks. Two reasons, one, I'm pretty good with them. Uh, as you, some of you may know, I live in China. But also you can go two different directions. You know, come at it two different ways. Boom, look at that flip. And it's hot, so it's quick, efficient. Get in, get out. Like Bruce Lee said, be like water. Mm. Swarm these guys. I think the steaks are done. 
Yeah. That one looks good. Wubba. That one looks good. Benny Hanna couldn't have done it better. There you go. All right, so we got um, twice baked potatoes. How many times have they been baked? Twice, and they're gonna be yummy. So you guys all come down and join us now. Uh, baked potatoes are good. Yeah, good flavor. Good idea that they sell them already twice baked, you know? I, I, I never had it. We have to bake it ourselves. Wow. Mm. Steak is medium, but... It was very tasty. I, I think it tastes better when you're in this, this, this ambiance of being out here in the, in the wilderness. And what do you guys think of the dinner? Well, luckily, oh, um, yeah, the dinner was great. Uh, but, oh, man, this steak is one of the better steaks I've ever had. It could just be, you know, like I said, your nature. What was it like hiking in Tibet? Nepal? Or Nepal. Nepal? Yeah. That was great. It was awesome. How Beautiful. many feet were you guys? What was the highest? Mm, I think about 5,000 kilometers. What's that? So it was about 12. Maybe. What? 13, really? What? 13. what? I do have a picture. Over 10,000 feet? Yeah, I do oh, have yeah. a picture wow. where we're looking down on airplanes. Really? Wow, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, you didn't see that video when either. you're when you're out there above 10,000 feet, you know, it's, it's hard to breathe anyways. You know? Well, we, we're at the point where they said this is where altitude sickness starts. Uh -huh. And, you know, they're like, okay, just pay attention. But anyways, yeah, the food was uh, really, really great. And, uh, of course, the fire and sitting around here was really awesome. Oh. So after dinner we went to bed and like uh, Tom was saying and Zach, it was just beautiful with the stars. When we woke up, like Zach said earlier, with these crows going ah, ah, and it was just starting to get light so we got up and got in the boat and didn't eat nothing. We just hurried up and got down to Burnside Lake so we went back down the, the Dead River. Sky in morning, sailor take warning. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Oh, All right, we're, we're good today. <laughs> <laughs> and then we started fishing, and uh, we caught yeah. a lot of small mouths. <laughs> what you got? We got a little smallie. Smallmouth. Trying to get a walleye, but. This has been the fish of the day so far. Uh, little guy. I think we've gotten... Henry wants to take a bite of him. I caught a huge 
Forge Northern. What do we myself, got there? Got myself a nice pike. Boy, it's a big guy. Wow. Just a big boy. Look at that guy. Nice northern pike. Let's let him go here. Northern pike. <laughs> I think he wanted to go. We saw him. what what we saw. We we saw two red tail foxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, at the shoreline. Um, otters. Otters. Geese, of course, duck. ducks, right? Stuff like that. So it was alive with uh, nature early in the morning. So I hope it stays like that though throughout the day. I don't know if they hide later on, but yeah. we were hoping to get walleyes this morning to have a shore lunch, but we caught everything but walleyes. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna get breakfast going. Breakfast on and I'm hungry, man. Well, I'm going to catch you. That ain't going to be me. I'm going to catch you. I don't even have to go yet. I think I don't have to go till I get home. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, I'm about an every two day -er guy in here. It's like yum yum. Bacon. You know what's better than bacon? More bacon. What kind are they? Southwest style hash browns. A little bit of spice to them. What do you think, Tom? I got a story for you when you turn that off, though. That... Let's hear it. <laughs> carp, carp. That's a bad fish, right? Like, nobody eats carp. Well, so some. I mean, people eat carp, but it's got a lot of bones and stuff in it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, well, I, I can't tell because if you put that on, I'll, I'll come back to hunt. Go ahead. Well, we have neighbors that deliver us carp. They make it special and stuff, and so we're like, yum, yum, yum. The sauce is really good, but isn't it bad fish? So wouldn't it be better if it was like halibut? And we don't eat carp. So why do people eat carp? Where are your neighbors from? India. Ask people why do they eat carp, and they'll put on, to ask them to put down below why. Down below, tell me what you think about carp. Because I grew up in Chicago, and that was always a bad fish, you know. Because in China, they eat a lot of carp. Different versions of carp. China, I've eaten it before. But they, they do it like so much sauce and vegetables, and yeah. it just has no fish flavor, you know, it just. Exactly. The flavor of the carp that we got, I mean, it was phenomenal. Ain't no doubt about that. But um, when I found out that it was a big-ass carp, can I say that word ass? A big-ass carp. <laughs> this is a family channel. All right, big butt carp. I was like, wait a minute. You know, that's got a lot of bones in it. I thought it was a bottom feeder. You know, that's not something it is we want to eat. Yeah, so it's something we don't want to eat, right? What do they eat on the bottom? Rock lobster. So put it on the bottom. Let us know what you guys think because it is kind of bugging me. All right, thanks. All right, let's get these uh, french fried potatoes on here. Ooh. Looking good. Right. Wow, look at that sizzle. I'm going to set it behind me now on the thing. Is it getting heavy? It's pretty okay. heavy. Do it, do it. Set it down. And then you can scrape it Put harder. Log. You know, get the crusties off the bottom. Oh, I see. Well, let me put some of that on. Keep going. And maybe get away from the grease a little bit. Passing by. Well, I think we picked the right time. The weather, it's not even cold. What was the temperature this morning? It was probably 50s, yeah. I would assume. Yeah. 58 and, degrees. And no bugs. 13 Celsius? Maybe. I don't know about that Celsius 13, stuff. 13 Celsius. How do you Celsius. know the Celsius versus the Fahrenheit, like off the top of your head? It's not a fly, it's a bee attacking. Where's Henry? Or his food? Yeah, he's got dog food. All right, 
Load it up. All right, just a little bit of eggs for me. That's a lot. You gotta eat a lot. I know, you made so much. Good protein. Swing around. Is this turkey bacon? All right. <laughs> Fire. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Bless it to our health. Thank you for the two guys who cooked it. Um, we're just having a great time in your in sp in splendor, and we give you all the praise and glory in your name. Amen. Amen. You get some fish. Oh, I yeah. know. Yeah, if we can get some uh, that walleye, because we're catching fish, but we're not we're not catching the fish. Mm. We want to have a walleye dinner. Mm. Doing dishes. Like, Dishes. Hey, Tom. What? What happened to your hat? Well, just so you know, this is my favorite hat. And this pot, I was boiling coffee and water. It got so hot, but all I did was I touched it like this, and it just it ruined my hat, Shoot. man. I mean, I got this hat at March Air Force Base. I got to go back and get another military hat. And another me. thing, too, what's with your pants? You got a hole in your pants. Well, that's just... You, you know, got a what, creeping Charlie. What can I say? <laughs> that's just because I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you back out on the trails. All right, and if you guys don't know who I am, uh, Ron and I, when we were 18 years old, we were stationed together at Camp Pendleton, uh, 2nd Battalion, 1st Marine Division. So I would bring him home on the weekends, and then uh, he started dating my sister. And then I became my brother-in-law, and now it's been 40 years, man. So really good, yep. really good guy here. First time getting him up here. <laughs> We've been trying to get him up here, and yeah. but here we are. How'd you sleep? We good. good First good. time in a hammock. First time in a hammock, right? Yeah, I'm like good. Hmm. Okay, you guys know Zach, my my son Zach. He just came back from China. He's been living there on and off for about 10 years. Came back. Yeah, excited to come up here. It's been two years since I was last up here, one of my favorite places. So great to get out here. It's not the usual boundary waters with the kayaks and canoes, but this time we wanted to take Henry because I haven't been fishing with him in a while. And then Uncle Tom wanted to come out, so yeah. figured do it with the boat, come right on the edge, still get the, the peace, quiet, tranquility. Just need to find the walleyes. Yeah, we haven't got them yet. Yeah, we And also it. we got Henry, Henry boy up here. And we almost lost Uncle Tom today. Oh. <laughs> We're getting out of the boat and he fell. <laughs> yeah, I jumped off the boat. I thought that that's what I'm supposed to do, right? The first guy off the boat and I, I tumbled, man. I'm a little sore right here. Might be have a bruise. Right? Yeah, I got a little pain. <laughs> oh, no. On your back? No, my chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. It's, uh, it's kind of hard. I'm <laughs> trying to jump off the boat. All right. And then this guy in the boat, when you go to cast, he goes to one side, the boat turns, and, and you cast this way, he goes over that side, and you get a, a fish, he's trying to grab it, so he's been a kind of a pain in the boat, but yeah. Zach wanted to bring him, and this is what we get. It's good for him. Henry's got his jacket on. I don't think we'll take this off for now. But yeah, he's a happy-go-lucky dog, and he does love his pup tent. He loves sleeping in the hammock next to me. The best bass fishing I ever had, I caught, what, five, six huge bass. <laughs> that never happened. I'll turn it off. 